Now let's look at a problem dealing with volume. There are 10 decimeters in a meter. Explain why there are not 10 cubic decimeters in a cubic meter. And then we'll answer how many times greater is a cubic meter than a cubic decimeter. Well, let's begin by quickly sketching in a cubic meter. So we're just going to draw a square, and I'm going to make it look three-dimensional. And if this is a cubic meter, that means that we have one meter by one meter by one meter as measurements. Now, we know that there are 10 decimeters in a meter. So for instance, we could take the meter that's running horizontally, and we could divide it up into 10 sections. We could do the same thing for the meter running um, backwards and the meter running up vertically. But let's just mark off one little unit here. What we have is, and I'm going to go ahead and sketch this in, that section right there would be enlarged. It would be a cube. And it would have a measurement of one decimeter by one decimeter by one decimeter. Now, it turns out then that you can see that there is going to be one cubic decimeter in this small little spot. So in order to determine the relationship between a cubic meter and a cubic decimeter, you'd have to say that one cubic meter can be thought of as one meter cubed which is going to be 10 decimeters cubed. That's going to be 10 decimeters times 10 decimeters times 10 decimeters to give us 1,000 cubic decimeters. So therefore, a cubic meter is 1,000 times larger than a cubic decimeter.